Um, a quick follow-up question for Jindal on some of those factors. Um, and so I think I think the conversation always goes back to the AI. And so the idea is, Jindal, from what you're seeing, how is English language learning different now compared to five, ten years ago? And then how much of these differences can be attributed to the influence of AI shaping the future of English? Sure. Uh, well, as an English language educator, I have indeed noticed a, let's say, significant change in the way people learn English in the recent years. Now, of course, one notable difference compared to five to ten years ago is the increased accessibility to, to language learning resources and platforms through technological advancements. Now, you mentioned AI, but before that, obviously, the Internet in general has played a significant role in this. And, uh, I mean, when I was growing up, language learning was very different. It was restricted to the school. You had to wait for that one hour and a half a week to hear some English, to read in English, or to have anything in English. And so, even on TV, uh, back then we had one channel, of course, and, or if there were other channels, they were in French. So, basically, you really had to wait for the school to get English. And then, we had, like, music, where you could listen to music in English or uh, follow the lyrics. But now, with the Internet, English is everywhere. And uh, we see uh, children now learning English at a very young age before even they enter school. Like I've seen kindergarten kids learning English already uh, through like YouTube videos. Like they follow Peppa Pig or uh, these cartoons. And, and so they, they really, some of them are like native speakers. Now, AI in particular has, I think, and is, because this is a, a, a recent trend, has since uh, a year, let's say a year, but um, since AI has become now like the buzzword, has played a significant role in the shaping, uh, I think, and is going to play a significant role in the shaping of the future of English learning in Algeria, in the Maghreb, Maghreb and in the world. Now, AI uh, powered tools, such as language learning apps or virtual assistants or um, chatbots have uh, provided learners with personalized content, with immediate feedback and with something very important in language learning, which is interactive learning experiences, which goes beyond that is interactive uh, learning experience that goes beyond learning about the language but using actually using the language and i think that these innovations have made learning more flexible more um, adaptive and more engaging and um, it is something that is the potential there is a great potential for like catering the individual's learners' needs and preferences, and this has been really a great and significant change from five or ten years ago. Like, I think that we are, right now, living in a revolution in English language learning and teaching.